Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the Straight Talk Vermont show. My name is Bruce Wilson. I'm the executive director of Straight Talk Vermont. I have one of our wonderful people who works with me um, about to help me with this show. Go right ahead, Vicki. Hi, I'm Vicki Schwartz. I am a super nerd, and I am the social media and tech director uh, with Art So Wonderful. Awesome. And so today, as usual, um, you know, I, I always talk about what we're going to do first. You know, we're going to uh, how we're going to plan this. Um, um, normally, um, I don't, I'm not by myself. But I was going to be by myself today, and Vicky decided she was going to come on, which was awesome because she has a wealth of knowledge about things we're going to do and creating our technology and our social media for us, and and a lot of events we got coming on as well as with our art. It's a wonderful show. So. Uh, I mean, um, gallery, and so um, today I'm happy to have Vicki next to me. So what I want to talk about is um, people, check it out. So now we're about to open up a brand new arts gallery and performing center in the University Mall. It's called Art So Wonderful Gallery and Performing Center. And so the cool thing about it is um, we moved from a location in the mall that we, um, um, had before for just for the art so wonderful gallery so now it's a performance and it's 8,000 square feet 8,000 square feet <laughs> big is it gigantic or what huge huge and we got a stage that we're about to build and it's already there we just gotta I mean Teddy gonna build it well not today we're gonna bring our stuff out to storage and our art and we're gonna but the stage is there already and the chairs is already there yes and so it's incredible. So right now, Vicky and I, we're trying to do is um, get an, uh, <clears throat> artists and musicians a bit to come and um, actually um, talk to us about how you want to showcase your art or um, music in our space. And so we're very, very excited about that because um, we love music and we love art. And so um, Art So Wonderful um, Gallery and Performing Center is in the University Mall 155 Dorset Street in, um, and it's right next to um, Target's. And right next to Target. Right next to Target and across from IHOP. So you can't miss it. It used to be um, like the library in the University Mall and it used to be um, Garnett had it recently when they did the booster shots and the mm -hmm. flu shots. So, so people, you can't miss it. <laughs> it's like gigantic. They have art in the window. So, um, and I'm just so excited about it. So, what, what, what are you excited about from this I'm space? I'm really excited that right now uh, I went into the uni university mall, uh, and I found that there's a huge amount of foot traffic uh, mm -hmm. in the university mall, mm -hmm. and so. There's a lot of opportunity where families right now are coming into University Mall, a lot of teenagers from uh, high school up mm -hmm. and they're there after school. Um, there's a lot of really interesting mm -hmm. things that can be done and one of the things that I'm thinking about uh, with mm -hmm. Bruce and we've discussed is, is AI projects with generative right. art and right. putting it on the wall. And for, for young people who are just getting into artificial intelligence and gen generative art, uh, it's a really low cost way to start getting creative. Now there are all kinds of other things that um, Bruce has been talking about and developing. Uh, for instance, there is a project upcoming starting in May called the Moran Frame. And there is fencing that um, we are looking for people who like to design uh, elements in Burlington to decorate these. And um, so do you want to talk a little bit yeah. about the Moran frame? Yeah, yeah. so the Moran, the Moran frame is down on the waterfront right next to, um, Ad behind Adog Skate Park and next to the Sailing Center. And um, in the Moran frame is a very unique um, frame actually it used to be Moran plant but then um, after many years of not in operation I think in the 80s they stopped it and then Burlington that's near the sailing center right yeah, exactly mm -hmm. exactly and so they um, with Act 250 if you tear down that building you cannot build it back up to that height anymore right. so to keep the height you just 
keep the frame. You know? Right, right. You know, you just you just tear all the whatever the uh, coverings on the frame, and just keep the frame so it's already at the height that you can build. You know, from it, off of it, off right. of it, yeah. but you just can't go up no higher. Right. You know, and so which how wonderful is that? You know, to be able whoever thought of that was. I'm sure our good friends and at City Hall thought and, about that. And right nearby there, um, you have a green, a green up um, project coming up, uh, April the twentieth. Yeah. And do you want to talk a little bit yeah, about yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's go back before we talk oh. about the April twentieth event. Um, let's let's talk a little bit more about what you had, had said about the Moran frame. Yes. And the Moran frame um, actually. Um, we're going to be decor decorating the fence that's across from the frame that belongs to the Department of Public Works. So it's not actually around the frame; it's across from it. And so, um, so we got to come up with this in incredible um, design. Yeah. And so you thought about some ways. You know, we, first of all, we're going to use um, youth. Yeah. And um, youth is going to help us with this, mm -hmm. and it's our interns and uh, some. Art and of course artists, right. and um, and so um, what what's going to happen is, which I don't know totally yet, because we're gonna, we, you know, we got time to, to uh, make it up, plan, uh, it, out. plan yeah. it out, and uh, <clears throat> and so um, one thing you we were talking about is um, you were talking about is using um, some um, go ahead where we from uh, we were actually talking about people who do this kind of work already, which is like weavers and uh, crocheters and knitters, people who already have an idea about how to weave things because it's a fence. Change There's that. a lot of opportunity to take materials and make designs uh, by passing you know, uh, yeah. these things through and you could have some pretty incredible designs, right. plus there's paint and fabric and yeah. plastics and all kinds of things. Yeah. So for a green up, you could do things like if you collected, for instance, bags uh, or, you know, other kinds of things, you could weave those through and then you could even paint them. That's true. There's because, lots of things. Because um, um, green up is officially in May, actually. Um, so so and we're going to do this project in May. So that's a great idea. Um, all I know is that it's got to stay It's because it's a chain link fence. Right. As you said, go through the links and it's got to stay. And it's got to, uh, the color's got to stay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because um, um, I don't want the wind to blow because it's right on the lake. You know, I don't want the wind to blow through and blow out all, all, all the um, stitching or, you know, mm -hmm. everything we did. And I don't want the rain or elements to um, change the color of the brilliant colors that we're going to put through this fence. It's going to be so beautiful when we, it's going to be so beautiful. And um, and I just can't wait to our artists and everybody get together and, and and put it, you know decide what the um, proposal is going to be because I got to still send it through um, to the public works. Public works. Well, they got to send. But uh, friends of Moran Frame has got to send it to the um, public works, which is, you know, I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna agree right. that it's all right, and they're they are already used to about what elements are. You know what I mean? Because they're pu the power of public works, and they get snow and all kind of stuff. They deal with roads, and so they know what what will last in the elements and I might just have to ask, I will ask my friends um, um, who in charge of the public works um, what type of materials they think is best to go there. As a matter of fact, I'll do that um, today. Um, and so so I'm excited about that, you know, I mean, I'm really excited about the Moran Frame yep. uh, project, you know, through the um, City of Burlington, um, CEDO Department. And I'm very excited to do that and give individuals opportunity to showcase their talents in a place where probably they normally won't be able to do it you know like some who who can do things like that and like right on the lake waterfront right you know what I'm saying and, um, there's lots of people who walk there lot lots of people who walk there and then we'll have our cable show like this this show here our so wonderful show will be down there you know um, filming and um they'll they'll see it all through our, um, through um, CCTV, mm -hmm. and you can take those links and send it anywhere in the world. Yeah, you know, it'll be on YouTube and yep. everything that you're gonna, whatever you're gonna decide to put it on for our social media. Mm -hmm. And the people will get. Um, they, what happens is, they can showcase their work on um, through their press kits or resume or just, or scholarship. You know, trying for scholarship or right. jobs e even even. So how inc incredible is that? And plus. Um, 
in places where they probably never get to like they do. So let let me just talk about a little bit about Art So Wonderful before you before you mm -hmm. talk. Yep, yep. So Art So Wonderful have sixty percent of the murals in Burlington, you know, and, and we have in our St. Albans, we have in Rutland, we have murals in pretty much a so, lot of places. So oh. talk about the murals then, because as you were talking about showcasing, yeah. that's exactly what yeah. I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. So well, you, I, oh, where ahead. are the murals? Well, what are they? Well, well, first, first. First, 60% of the murals in Bronx is ours. Mm -hmm. And then we've been doing those murals in, since 2003. And the mural um, program started in, um, um, we created um, the we, we, graffiti removal program for the city of Bronx through the Community Justice Center. Right. And as we did that, we decided to, um, uh, in our, my study, I decided, in 2001, I found out if you put murals over graffiti, they honor them. And so, so murals was the uh, caption. And so, um, Wow, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to. T I say some famous places where murals are, but we have 60% of the murals, so it's a lot. So we have them like on Pearl Street Beverage. So if you see Pearl Street Beverage, you see that big one in the parking lot, and it's to honor the people who um, uh, service for the state for this COVID. You know, you see police and the firemen and mm -hmm. nurses, and it's an incredible mural. We have uh, one oh, in. Oh, I do. Yes, I have seen that one. One in the University Mall, mm -hmm. and um, it's gigantic. Two in the University Mall. One says Vermont, and one says it's a community event. We have um, Asiana House. We have uh, we created art on art so wonderful electrical boxes since in 2003. Talk so all of those, those electrical boxes you see is through art so wonderful or people our partners who yes. get those. And so, and um, so you just see them and you, and you admire them, and 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 we can help you if you want one. Just contact, Bruce, you can look me up, Bruce Wilson, and you, you know, I'm easy to find. It's Bruce Wilson. You, know, you can right. Google my name and you'll figure ways to contact me. So, go ahead. Just uh, for everybody's information, the murals, uh, if, if you see the electrical boxes that when you're driving down the side of the streets and they're painted in colorful and wonderful designs, that is uh, Bruce and uh, group and so if you see something that's tagged and or that has something and maybe it just needs um, an upgrade uh, you can always get in contact with Bruce Wilson at Art So Wonderful mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and leave him a message and you can talk about um, or even volunteer to help uh, be part of the mural project. Right, and I'm glad you said that and um, and so um, our, my art director is, called, is Alondra de la Cuesta. She's my art director and she's a curator. So it's Alondra de la Cuesta. What and a so nice she, name. She's, she's so wonderful. Couldn't do this without her. She's the bomb diggity. My God. So I'm not an artist. I'm not a musician. So I've never done any art on, in any of our places. I've never done any uh, murals and stuff of prime the wall mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. they said I'm the best at prime the wall so I'm gonna <laughs> stick with that job and but uh, all the artists we work with UVM art department I mean, uh, art club we work with um, community art p partners we work with our artists of course around whoever whoever you are mm -hmm. in music and we've done over um, 700 events in Vermont so we're part of first night kids night kids day jazz fest People who know me know all the things who I am and what I and what what we do, and so uh, we want to. My goal is give individuals an opportunity to showcase their talents in places that they might not normally have the opportunity to, and as well as being safe places like we you know we we'll open up youth centers in the malls through the years, chill out centers, and uh, we we'll, now we got the art so wonderful gallery that we want to give individuals an opportunity to, to create art and do art and do music and perform and. And no cost to them. We're not charging nobody a dime to do the work. Or what we will charge is people to come in and enjoy our music festivities, you know, because we're in our space now. It's 8,000 square feet, so it's gigantic. So we need to sustain ourselves and mm -hmm. pay our artists, you know, things like that. But uh, I'm so happy. So you want to talk about um, um, our cleanup, the Green Up event? Yes, the Green Up cleanup uh, mm -hmm. on April 20th. Mm -hmm. uh, the... There are some sponsors which um, are already um, yeah. very excited about the project itself. Jordan, can you bring that post up? Thank you. And um, so the some of them uh, is uh, Mackenzie Meats who will be yeah. there with um, hot dogs and burgers, and uh, VP Rail will be 
uh, mm. providing rakes and bags and all the other good stuff to um, to expose the walls that um, have been, you know, climbed on by uh, the vines and and things and um, and I believe that there are already several uh, volunteers from oh, St. Yeah. Michael's College. Oh yeah, definitely. On board. Definitely, we couldn't do none of our work without our volunteers and and without like. Um, like through our United College Club pro program, um, UVM, St. Myers, Johnson, St. Plain, Norris Council, and all the different colleges. And so mo uh, the MOVE program at St. Michael Colleges, College is a, uh, well, college is getting a lot of different things, is um, they do, that's what, who they are. They do, they do volunteer stuff mm -hmm. around, probably, probably around Chittenden County. And they're working the DREAM program and all kind of cool things they do. Laura Scott is their director, and I'm, I worked with the DREAM program, I mean, with the drain program too in Winooski, but also with the MOVE program for many years at St. Michael's. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're incredible. So they're gonna come like, I don't know, 10 to 15 individuals will come down and help clean this um, um, graffiti, uh, graffiti, not the graffiti, um, bushes and um, all kind of cool, nasty right. stuff around this stone, historical stone wall that's right across from Adol Park and the Sailing Center. And so that's where we're gonna build the wall for a coming event. We're not gonna talk about her now. Biggie said we're not gonna talk about that. Super one. secret. Well, Super secret. Go ahead, give the name though. Why not? It's called. Are we are we uh, outing the name why of it? Why not? Why not? Oh uh, well, right. it's the it's bomb the wall. Yeah, but anyways, okay, that's it. So anyway, so, so <laughs> no could, details. No details, not yet, because because you know, but well, I will say this: we want people to bomb this wall, not the skate park. And, right. and we're going and that's the whole mission goes in the jack and we're gonna have some cool prizes that when we have going because we're gonna have themes for this but right now we're just going to prep the prep that wall that this stone wall has graffiti all the way down it oh and it's owned by vermont railway and that's one of our sponsors and so i'm telling you this wall is incredible it's, it has a story value i think it's got something to do with the the Battle of Bennington or something. I don't know. I mean, I've been in here, Bennington or something. Right. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. And then they built this wall. I have to get the, more information about the wall from um, uh, Mary. Um, Mary. Um, I forget her last name. Okay. I know for you. She Next gonna, time. She's gonna kill me. That's why. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't let me go. When I say Mary, that's it. I'll write yeah, that down. You do that because I'm like Mary. I love Mary so much. But anyway, she worked for um, um, um she did. Code enforcement office. So, so I got Mary is awesome. She's the best. Um, but anyways, and her daughter was on my youth board um, years ago. But, any, but anyways, um, I'm telling you, and we're gonna do it in another location too, you know, in Winooski in another park. You know, so, but since I gave it all away, right? But not really. Well, but it's gonna be so cool. You know what I mean? It's it will be awesome. But from now, we're just gonna be a part of. Um, reason why we're not doing this um, art so wonderful green up day is in May is because most of the students are be, will be gone. So we, so directors at St. Michael said, Bruce, you might want to do it in April. And so another thing too, we pushed, we made it April 20th. You know? April 20th, 420. 420, baby. And so, you know, so people, you would be lovely to be out there and about outside, out, outside celebrating 420 and, and uh, helping to uh, do a, provide a service in Burlington, clean up the, that wall, because it's pitiful. It's like all kind of crap. I was down there this morning looking at the Moran frame, different things. It's crappy. You know, it's all this vines and diffs and that, yep. and garbage all attached to it. And, you know, it's right on the bike, the uh, bike trail, yep. and, uh, you know, walkway, walk through. And so that should be nice down there, right? Yes. So we're Absolutely. gonna clean, we, this is the things that, um, our programs do are so wonderful. Do we clean up? We make we beautify things. We we have a graffiti abatement program, and we put cool murals on it. Yes, you know. So these are the things we do. We give, and so and and I'm, that's one of the things I'm proud of doing. You know, and so I'm happy about that. Yes. I'm very happy. So what else we got? Something else we got? Something else going on? Well, uh, back to the um, back to art so wonderful. Mm -hmm. The one of the interesting things that I've noticed in University Mall is there are two places that have either, uh, there's one that does like, it's a selfie place, but you can go in there and you have to call ahead to get the person to come in and open it up. Um, I believe there's one other place that you can do that and it's a gaming center, mm. but 
Jamie. We're thinking about putting together a, uh, there's some wonderful space at Art So Wonderful, turning it into a studio where you can come in and if you don't know much about, let's say, YouTube or TikTok and you want to get your your career started and you want to be on TikTok and you want to do social media, well, here is a place where you can come and you can sit behind a desk just like this one and you can have somebody just like these wonderful people uh, and they will give you direct feedback and you won't have to have the technical knowledge that it takes to get this thing rolling and you can start to learn. And so there will be technical skills and there's a space that will be quiet that's not your home or your closet or your, you know, your cell phone uh, with all of the equipment that you already need. And uh, there are other ideas that we have in the works to, um, to get people in to Art So Wonderful just to look, to participate and figure out and make it their own, like, what can I do here? Mm -hmm. How can I participate? And we want to create the buzz that makes it makes a person imagine themselves mm -hmm. doing something in the specific space of art so right. wonderful. You couldn't say any more of that, uh, Vicki. And the good thing, too, is like um, CCTV, who's I've been on sponsors yeah. for God knows since for me since 2001. They said we're since you said say it longest running show on CCTV, and so how awesome is that? that and is so they will help us with podcasting. They will help us with all the things that you said, YouTube and everything that everything you had mentioned. TikTok, they, yeah. TikTok, mm -hmm. and they, they will help us with it, and then provide um all the uh, technical equipment and stuff. You know, we can take our cameras. We can whatever we need. They they will help us with it. And how wonderful is that? Now, anybody can talk to CCTV, actually, and find out the ways that they can um, uh, work with CCTV as well. And I think it's very important that they, people do who are interested in cameras or, or film work or podcasting, please come talk to um, um, CCTV, uh, Megan O'Rourke, and she'll t tell you exactly what, what you need to do. But um, thank you. that's going to be exciting. So. Also, so we have signs. We have signs on the door of uh, you know windows of our new center in the University Mall saying we're looking for artists and musicians. So, and I have a, it's an email down there, on there, and arts so wonderful numeral two at gmail.com is arts a r t s so wonderful two at gmail.com you know you can that's my direct email you can email me mm -hmm. and i you know i can help you um whatever you need but what it says on that on that sheet on the window is that we're looking for artists we're looking for musicians and usually this for this short like i say for this short time only mm -hmm. for this short time only this is what we're doing so we're, usually we charge individuals um well, we make 30% of what when we sell people's art, and they make 70%. And we're, best, we're the best ever at that in any gallery that I know of. But anyways, but from this time only, so many, uh, we're looking for artists and musicians to um, um, be a part of what we do, sh showcase your art, perform in our place. And, and we, well, well, we'll pay our musicians and the artists get 100% of the proceeds. If we sell your art, 100% of the proceeds right now if you volunteer for our programs. If you volunteer for our, our um, concerts, our art shows, our, our mural projects, uh, graffiti removal, right now, you know, we'll give you 100%. You can hang your art in our gallery. We'll give you 100% of the proceeds. If you perform in our performing center, we pay you to perform. How wonderful. You can't beat that. You cannot beat you that. You can't beat it. So that's, that all you got to do is volunteer for us. And we're not saying you need to do a job with us. And we know 20 hours just like you help plan events, help design murals, help do, uh, maybe you can't put them on the wall, but you help design them. And we right. get we have a team of people to put murals in the community. And obviously we do. We've been doing them since 2003. And so how easy is that? And showcase your talents with us. Yeah. And uh, the... The equipment is is sponsored. Uh, I believe that you said that there is somebody who is that you have a sponsor that is providing paints and supplies. Bruce has some deep connections in the community uh, to so that 
you as an artist or you as a person with an idea can come and either brainstorm, Bruce is always available, mm -hmm. and uh, just pitch your ideas. Maybe you haven't actually done anything mm -hmm. specific yet, right. but you have a lot of ideas. Come talk to Bruce. Yeah. He knows people and he can make things happen. Yeah. Well, the good thing about one, the good thing about me, the good thing about me is that um, that I think is good about me is that, like you said, we know all these people. And um, just on the side note, saying that I am a commissioner for the state of Vermont Human Rights Commission. I am a commissioner for Sydney County Regional Planning. I am on the board for um, Jedi for Green Mountain Transit, for Vermont Food Bank. When you see school district anti-racism, so I sit on a lot of boards and committees and this, that, and other. And if you're not not want to just do um, um, art or music, you come and meet some of the people who we work with on the central level. We work with our governor, our senators, mayors, legislators, all all kind of incredible people, executive CEOs, you uh, know. And that's where we want you to start. If you want to have an idea about what you want to do in life, your goals, dreams, and aspirations, if you want to have an idea, if you want to need help doing that, that's where we want you to start, right on the central level with the governor, the senator, the mayor, CEO, presidents, our directors. That's where we're going to start you with, those people who are in charge of everything. And people who know me know that I mean it, and they, and they get it. They know. They know. We will be knocking at, we will knock at your door. And I, go, I will text you. I will text you. I will send you an email immediately. And I thank you all our partners and community members and all the boards and CEOs you know, that we know and that we work with in the communities. I thank you so much for being a part of what we've been doing for many years since, see, since 1999 in this day. Our program has over 50 awards and, um, and it's because of the youth and individuals who we serve and because our community partners who help us, sponsor us. And um, we couldn't do this without you. I'm t and I thank you so much. And we continue to need your service because it's not about me. It's about the people who we serve and the people who you serve. And we all serve the same people. And so thank you. I want to thank our sponsors and committee and communities. And if you are uh, a person who is looking to get into something technical and creative, there's also myself um, if you need problem solving or if you have a business that you um, are looking to figure out how do you um, add uh, either a passive income by um, for instance whatever you're already doing maybe you might want to figure out how to just add a live stream to your business and people will come and watch or maybe you want to get into artificial intelligence and you're not ready to sign up f to a technical college, um, just come and pitch ideas and uh, let's brainstorm. And you can get in touch with me through Bruce and um, you can always email or leave a message uh, or um, slip a note under the door if the, if the uh, doors are not open yet. And, um, yeah, I'm easy to find. This is all you gotta do is you Google Bruce Wilson. I mean, I'm 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 easy to find. You just Google Bruce Wilson, and you'll find me. It's not I'm not hard to find. You know? You're not hard I'm to not, find. Not at all. It's, and I'm I like it that way. I want people to know where I'm at and who and how they can get in touch with me. And I like everything you just said because that's you know we, that's who we are. We we're um we try to be like well uh, I'm hopeful that we are like more like a systemic organization. Yes. Like you know help people with their goals, dreams, and aspirations. Provide them with uh, resources, you know, art and music and and technical support and uh, social social media and um, you know how to get scholarships and people who they might want to work for. We you know that's we've been doing it for Connecting. forever. We've been doing it forever and we've been very successful at doing it. I don't see why I should stop. No. I'm not going to stop doing it. And we want to stop. Help. Won't stop. Uh, it's, it's it's really easy. Now. It's so easy. I'm telling uh, individuals who are. Um, individuals who just want this type of service it's it's the easiest thing i can do for you yeah it really is i mean i'm i'm not i mean i'm no better than nothing but to help people with their goals dreams and aspirations and that's the easiest thing i can do it's the it's it's not hard at all because people understand what we're trying to do then and we got over 50 awards because of that mm -hmm. you know we got letters from our senators have you seen a lot of letters from bernie and all these people saying how wonderful 
that they appreciate what we do for around the state, not not just in Burlington. You know, and, and we've been doing it for around the state forever. And people know people who know me know that I have been doing this around the state since 1999, actually, and um, I'm continuing to do it. And, and um, people should always um, know about the people who who works for them. Mm -hmm. They swear they all on our show. Like uh, on the fourth, April fourth, we have Jim Condes, retired Jim Condes, is coming on our show to talk about the work he did with the Secretary of State. You know, you see those checks with his name on it. I'm ah. asking ask ask about that. How, how do you like to see your, your how, how do you feel when you see your name on, on, on every check? You know, and then uh, Becca Ballin is coming on, Congresswoman Becca Ballin is coming up um, probably around in May. And uh, so we have all these people's. Quite the lineup. Show. Huh? Quite the lineup. Well, we, I, I, if you look over our shows, our, our whole straight talk from our service running shows are quite the lineup because they're people, incredible people. And so um, before we um, cruise off this channel, what um, we got like about one minute, won't you, won't you kill it? I would like to say to all the young people out there, especially young girls, you can do it. You can do anything you want. You can do anything technical. Get into coding. Be curious about math. This is your time. Believe in yourself. You're stronger than you know. That's from me, and bless you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Vicki, for being on our show, you know. And um, thank you, people, for tuning in to Straight Talk for my show. See you April 4th when um, Jim Condes will be on. Peace.